Okay, just stop and look at this. Now, write in the comments how this image makes you feel. Try to not look at anybody else's comment. I want your opinion only. I'm waiting, like comment right now. Okay, now I'll explain. This discomfort that you're feeling is due to a psychological phenomenon called the uncanny valley. This chart shows that the closer an object gets to human likeness, the more we like it until it gets to a certain point where it's too close but not quite human. There's a sudden drop off of affinity or likability that goes below the zero point. Not only do we not like it or like it less, but we actively try to avoid it. And nobody seems to know why. Growing up, one movie that made me feel very uncanny is the Polar Express. This movie made their characters look like a lifelike animation, but the way that the characters' mouths moved and their facial expressions felt so robotic and stiff. And when I looked it up online, people felt the same exact way as me. The animations of the show even though it was a great plot, it really made you feel discomfort when you're watching these characters move. Or if you still remember how they released the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer and his face was looking like this, everybody online went nuts saying that he looked scary, made them feel uneasy. They changed the CGI to make Sonic look less human-like and that did the trick. Now he looks really comforting like the Sonic that we all know and love from the video games and not like he's competing with the human race. But the burning question is why? And if you look this up online, the theories are ridiculous. Some say that a human-looking alien species tried taking over planet Earth 100,000 years ago, which is why we still feel this uncanny feeling about seeing an almost human face. But that of course is just a theory. A GAME fear. Now I have a theory that is a lot more plausible. During the production of my video where we disproved Neo-Darwinian evolution, we uncovered something really, really interesting. Now before I show you this clip, I'm going to teach you three words that you'll need to understand what I'm going to say. First, Homo habilis. Next, Homo erectus. And finally, Homo sapien, which is what we are today. The current theory states that they were our ancestors and we've actually evolved from Homo habilis to erectus, then to sapien. But fossil records actually show us that Homo erectus and Homo sapien, like us, being alive at one point, but we also have Homo habilis and Homo erectus being alive and hunting within one kilometer of each other at the same exact time. For these to be alive at the same time and in the same geographical region shows us that they weren't ancestors of each other, they weren't going back in stages, and it'd be a lot more rational to assume that they were separate entities entirely. So it's not far-fetched to believe that one homo class outperformed and wiped out the other from habilis to erectus to sapien. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's much more likely that these were a different species entirely. And in order to protect ourselves from these intruders or outsiders, we've developed this uncanny valley. We must have outperformed or defeated the last homo class throughout history, which is why until this day, if we see anything that looks like it's a knockoff homo sapien, we can immediately detect that it's not one of us and we feel unsettled by its existence. That explains the uncanny valley, at least in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to go back and forth with you guys in the comments, so please let me know your ideas. Thank you for watching this video. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.